care of the bees, I'm taking protection. <laughs> there are people over here dipping into the pool because there are too many bees out here. I think I should take their advice and dip into the pool. I think bees don't know swimming, so I better get it. It was not just the bees, but I really wanted to take a dip into the pool. Now, I have to tell you about Nagula. It's a 24 hours free service of fresh, refreshing, cool water. Everyone is having a ball of a time. They are climbing up the rocks, they are jumping, and just enjoying themselves. And me, personally, I was getting refreshed. This was one of the most beautiful mornings I ever had. Bees have quieted down now, they are not stinging anymore. So we settled down, took a little bit of snacks for breakfast. Now we are going to continue on our trek. And if you guys are wondering where is our trek, check it out. We are going to climb up and get in to the other side. This guy is crazily amazing. In fact, he's the only person motivating every other guy over here. It's a steep deadly climb and when Peter is there somehow everyone has the confidence to muster it up and go ahead now, as you can see this is no easy obstacle this climb is very steep very deadly and of course very very scary so people are forming a human chain over here passing the stuff that's going to the other side we need to pick it up and continue our trail. Very good trail, eh? Let's see how you guys keep up. Now, in the beginning of the trial, I asked people over here, how many of them are newcomers over here? A whole lot of them raised their hands. They don't know each other. No one knows each other. But take a look at this. When it comes to trekking, when you have to cross an obstacle, they all work as one. Now that's teamwork when it comes to trekking. Now one more thing you have to notice over here is they pass on to the bags in different levels. First they pass on to the bags, it goes to one level and stays there. Then the people climb up, people from the down again climb up into the rock and so on and so forth. The bags get passed on to different levels and at the end, hopefully, everyone will be on the other side. Now this is interesting to watch. Well, I've come up over here to join Peter and the Beast, but as you guys can see, these guys are doing an excellent teamwork over here. How tall is the first obstacle, Peter? Uh, this waterfall should be around, I think, uh, 30 to 40 meter height. Uh, this is the first one, which is like a steep kind of near vertical uh, rock climb near a waterfall. We'll be swimming through deep pools, we'll be climbing more rocks, uh, we're going through some dense uh, bushes as well as uh, scaling a peak uh, later today. Let's see, hope I'm alive by the end of the second day. But anyways, as you guys can see, it's a very tricky climb over here because it's wet and you have to climb. And I would not have done that without the help of the CTC guys over here. They're doing an excellent job tying up this place over here and, you know, carrying people up. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. Would you look at that? Now, that is the climb we made. I mean, when I was standing down looking at this tall thing, I was like, I'm not going to do that. But it is actually possible when CTC is around. And this is actually a very slippery, very tricky trek, so you have to be very careful to go on. And these guys are still wading up, they are still crossing up. As you can see down, there are still people standing and passing bags. Very soon, everyone is going to be over here and we are going to continue our trek through here. We have caused the first obstacle and this is the guys again teaming up, putting on their gears back to go for the next trek down here. It kind of looks very different because what I can see over here, there's a steep rock. So people have to go to the end, grab hold of some other rocks and then pass on. 
every single phase of the trek is something interesting, something very surprising. Now, I need to know from the people out here what they exactly feel about this trek, so I'm coming over here to this gentleman. Hi, sir, what's your name? Hi, I'm Suresh. Suresh, uh, what do you do, Suresh? Yeah, I'm an architect. I'm working with Blasen and Tubro. Blasen and Tubro, yeah. that is cool. I mean, like, uh, how long have you been working there? Uh, past two years. All right, and uh, why did you come out over here? I mean, like, is there work too heavy? Uh, kind of. <laughs> a relief from Chennai. Might be. Is your boss be watching that? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Still, he knows, right? <laughs> All right, super. So, is this your first time you're coming down over here? This is my first trek with uh, CDC. And uh, how are you liking this place? Yeah, group as such is so great. Space is also. This uh, Agalapuram is ultimate. I can say the first up time obstacle is ultimate thing. First up thing, I think, is guess is warm up because Peter was saying we have some nine more treacherous treks. <laughs> All the best. See you at the end, Suresh. Well, these guys are having their spirits high, their hopes high, and they are extremely enthusiastic to go inside and see what, what is this is in. Uh, I am Raj Aryan. Uh, I am a mechanical engineering student at IIT Madras. We just wanted to have some adventure, so we have come, came here. This is the first kind of trek I am going for. Uh, it's very exciting. It's more than what we expected. And, uh, it's nice to come away from the city and enjoy the peaceful atmosphere here and the water is really clean, we can see the fishes and all. We came with zero expectations, we didn't think uh, staying away from Chennai will be so cool. Okay, right, I have to go right now, catch you guys on the other side. There's a huge slope over here and I thought this was the second obstacle but unfortunately it's not, but still, to me, it looks like one. So let's go and see how I do it. Everyone is pushing through this place. This may not be the second obstacle, but you have to be very careful. As you can see, the rock is very slow. One wrong step and you can tumble and fall and probably bang up your head real bad. You have to be very careful, slow and steady. That's how you got to move here. The rocks are very tricky in this part. I'm doing the same stuff, being very careful, being very slow and steady. But no matter how careful I get, I am still dancing in the slope. But Peter, he is running this place as if it's his backyard. Thank <laughs> you. 